adding custom fonts to a PDF, elevating your brand's personality and essence. Hi everyone, my name is George and welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm delighted to share with you some tips and tricks that can help you enhance the reliability, appeal and engagement of your PDF documents by using custom fonts. Before going any further, may I ask you a question? Have you ever felt like the fonts of your PDF are missing something? Perhaps you're a business owner and you're looking to maintain a consistent brand identity or a designer wanting to add a unique touch to your work. Whatever your needs, adding custom fonts to a PDF can be an excellent way to enhance the visual appeal of your documents and make them stand out from the crowd. In this video, I will show you how to add custom fonts to a PDF. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, stick with me to the end of this video and learn just how to add custom fonts to a PDF. In today's digital age, creating a visually appealing documents has become increasingly more important. One of the ways to enhance the appeal of your documents is by using custom fonts. Custom fonts are unique typefaces that do not include the default set of fonts available in your computer. By incorporating custom fonts in your PDFs, you can elevate the overall visual appeal of your document and convey your brand's personality and essence. Custom fonts allow you to express your creativity and it helps you create a unique and memorable document that stands out from the rest. The best part? Well, adding a custom font to a PDF is not difficult at all. In this video, I'll cover the following topics to help you understand how this process works. Part one, how using custom fonts enhance the appeal of a PDF. Part two, where to find custom fonts. Part three, how to download and install fonts from Google Fonts, and part four, how to add custom fonts with PDF Element for Mac and Windows. So without further ado, let's get started. Part one, how using custom fonts enhances the appeal of a PDF. Custom fonts can make a huge difference when it comes to the appeal and readability of a PDF document. When you choose a font that complements the content and design of your document, it can help to create a more professional and polished look. For example, if you're creating a brochure for a luxury hotel, using a fancy script font can help convey the elegance and sophistication of the brand. On the other hand, if you're creating a report for a financial institution, a clean and modern sans serif font can help you communicate a sense of stability and reliability. Additionally, custom fonts can help you reinforce your brand identity to create a consistent look and feel across all of your marketing materials. But where can we find custom fonts? Part two, where to find custom fonts? One popular resource is Google Fonts, which offers a large collection of free open source fonts that can be easily downloaded and integrated into your PDF design. Another option is Adobe Fonts, which provides access to a vast library of high quality fonts for use in Adobe Creative Cloud applications. And for those looking for even more unique and specialized fonts, there are numerous independent foundries and designers that can offer their own collections of custom fonts for purchase or free download. Some popular examples include Typekit, Font Squirrel, and My Fonts. But remember, no matter where you choose to source your custom fonts from, it's important to ensure that you have the proper licensing and permissions to use them in your PDF documents. If you're wondering how to install custom fonts such as those offered by Google Fonts, let me walk you through an example. Part three, how to download and install fonts from Google Fonts. Whether you want to download custom fonts for Windows or Mac, the process is simple and straightforward. When you use Google Fonts, start by going to the Google Fonts website and browse the collection to find the font that best fits your needs. Once you have selected a font, click the download family button to download the font files to your computer. The font files will typically be in a zip folder, so be sure to extract the files before attempting to use them in your PDF. With your custom font downloaded and ready to go, all you have to do is open the .ttf file and install it. Now you can add it to your PDF document using your preferred design software. So let's take a closer look at how to use these custom fonts. Part four, how to add custom fonts with PDF element for Windows and Mac. If you're using the Windows version of PDF Element and you need to use a custom font that you've previously installed, simply go to the text properties and click on the fonts drop down menu to find and select the font you want to use. When editing the text, you can display font properties by clicking on the right panel. The process on Mac is very similar. One noteworthy aspect of the Mac version is that depending on the font that you've installed, you may have access to a customization feature that allows you to select different font styles. For example, in my demonstration, I have chosen the regular style and a font size of 14 pixels. 
However, feel free to experiment with different styles to find the one that best suits your project. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If this video is helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will continue bringing you more videos and many tips and tricks to make your work life easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you will find more videos just like this one. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.